like a boss. She's a flash in the pan. Only after bread and that cash in your hand. Until the day you're dead, let us stray a bit more after every yesterday. In a worst case scenario, maybe it'd be best this way. Did I forget? You guys, to- you got, do you have a guilty pleasure movie that you watch that you would be unbelievably embarrassed that other people would know that anytime you see it, you definitely watch it? This is mine. It's actually called The Goodbye Girl, <laughs> which is arguably one of the gayest fucking movies of all time. All right, but what I love about it, the reason why I like it is because it's Richard Dreyfuss's first big role, and I'm a big Richard Dreyfuss fan, and I just love it because you see a guy seizing the opportunity that he's got this role, and he, he just he just goes all out. It's a total fucking chick flick or whatever, but I don't know. He's always funny to me in the amount of shit that he has to do in the movie that I would be embarrassed to do when he pulls it off. Is why I always end up watching the movie. But, and I, I never watch it from beginning to end. I always catch it at some point. Plus, I'm a sucker for any movie that's shot in New York, and I get to see what New York used to look like. So that's another reason why I love watching that movie. And uh, it's just a great movie on a lot of different levels. There's another level where the only people of color in that movie play muggers. Like, you really see what the fuck Spike Lee is complaining about when you fucking see. It's like, it's so, like, how white they make New York is unbelievable. It's just wall-to-wall fuck. Everybody's white. And then at one point, the lady gets her groceries stolen. Yeah, dollar eighties. Pretty much under $2, yeah. as far as yeah. I know. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah, sure. Take care. What the... They jumped out and grabbed it. They had everything in it. Oh, those dirty bastards. Well, aren't you going to go after them? After a speeding car? (laughs) Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. They could be armed. So Richard Dreyfuss runs after this carload of people, and out of the car jumps like two Puerto Ricans and a black guy, and they got fucking afros and knives. All of a sudden, it turns into Death Wish, this chick flick for like half a second. Hey, all right, give me the bag. Give me the bag. I'm not afraid of you guys. Out of the car. Out of the car. Hold, 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 uh, but that's not what I wanted to talk about in that movie. What really interests me in that movie, as I mentioned a zillion times, is I drive a Toyota Prius. And uh, when I drive it properly and I'm not s- slamming on the brakes and stomping on the gas, I can get 41 miles per gallon. Okay? Which is supposed to be good because a lot of shit gets 23, 25. Now, I've maintained for a while now that cars in the 70s used to get like 33, 35 miles a fucking gallon and that's goddamn almost, you know, 35, 40 years ago. In this movie, this chick flick, the goodbye girl, the chick that uh, Dreyfus is is falling for, she's actually, you guys ever go to a car show? You know, where they show all the, uh, whatever, this year, they, uh, coming up in October, they'll start having the car show and they have all the 2012 uh, models that are coming out. And speaking of models, they have these broads standing next to them. At least they did back in the day, unless they consider it too sexist. They'd have good-looking women standing there talking about the car. So anyways, her character does that in this movie. And it's like it's like 76, 1977, something like that. And she's standing in front of this Subaru talking about the car and says it gets 39 miles per gallon. The Subaru engine gives you 39 miles per gallon in highway driving and 29 miles per gallon in city driving. Extraordinary performance. All right. See, this is why I don't believe in shit. I don't believe in fucking anything. This is why everybody thinks, oh, you're paranoid. You're a fucking conspiracy. That's it fucking right there. 39 miles per gallon. Uh, this fucking all-wheel drive Subaru, or those things back there weren't, oh yeah, four-wheel drive, Subaru got 39 miles per gallon. That was their claim, okay? That's 19 fucking 76 or 77. You're telling me in 35 years 
The best we've been able to do is get me an extra two miles per gallon on a fucking hybrid. So what I'm saying, people, is it's all bullshit. I don't know where I'm going with this stuff, and I don't know who to complain to. Is it that fucking hard? Isn't it just a couple of twists of the screwdriver on a carburetor? Do they have carburetors anymore? Ah, Christ, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Let's let's plow ahead, everybody. He's getting into conspiracy theory. Oh, Jesus. Hey, I think I have a clue now as to why all those other guys left. Crackers! Animal crackers, lady! You got a severe case of emotional retardation. So, what's going on? This is, this is your phone? Why, why am I in your phone? I'm sorry. You just seemed really happy, and I wasn't. What the fuck? Hey, buddy. Hey, what are you trying to do to me? What's your mother think? I think she'd be happy somebody loves me. Hank, Hank, that's a dead body. Why are you retarded? Dad, don't say that word. 